North Korea has conducted new missile tests, raising further tensions in the Korean Peninsula. South Korea has described the launch as a security threat. The latest provocation was a clear message to the U.S. There might be no talks if Washington holds joint military drills with Seoul. North Korea on Thursday fired two short-range missiles from its east coast. It was the first missile test since its leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump met last month. The missiles, launched from near the coastal city of Wonsan, flew about 430 kilometers out over the sea, reaching an altitude of 50 kilometers before splashing down. There was no official word from Pyongyang, so the information about the missile test came from South Korea and Japan. Regarding North Korea's projectile launch this morning, which are presumed to be short-range missiles, South Korean and the U.S. military authorities are sharing detailed information and we analyzing them. South Korea's defense ministry urged the North to stop acts that are unhelpful for easing tension, saying that the latest test posed a military threat. The government has been keeping an eye on the related activities and urges North Korea to stop acts that are unhelpful for easing military tension on the Korean Peninsula. The government of Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said that the test had no immediate impact on its security. We are aware that some sort of flying objects were launched this morning and the government is now collecting intelligence. As far as now, we don't think it fell within Japan's territory or EEZ, exclusive economic zone, and we don't find any evidence that the launches are threatening Japan's security at this point. After Trump and Kim met last month, the U.S. and North Korea vowed to soon hold a new round of working-level talks. But Pyongyang has since sharply criticized upcoming joint military drills by the U.S. and South Korean troops. U.S. Foreign Minister Mike Pompeo is likely to meet his North Korean counterpart on the sidelines of a Southeast Asian security forum in Bangkok next week. Nuclear talks between North Korea and the U.S. stalled after a second summit between Trump and Kim in Vietnam in February broke down. Trump has repeatedly stressed his good relationship with Kim and is keen for a big foreign policy win as he campaigns for re-election in 2020. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.